another off season, another viral video to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> right, right to it, huh? <laughs> right to it. Well, it's, it's been a while since we saw you, so let's. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's absolutely. Where, where did this, uh, where did this one concept come from for this? Uh, the concept, honestly, you know, last year was you know the backflip Oreo dunk, and you know I'm always kind of just crafting up these different little tricks and and just things that I do to just you know have fun on the side of of training. Um, and, and this one kind of just came to mind, so uh, I went out there and kind of just made it happen. This one uh, looked significantly more dangerous and, and heavy than uh, an Oreo cookie. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely, uh, it was, there was a little more, little more dynamic to it, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, how, I mean, how do you practice something like that? Do you start with... Uh, yeah, right. With yeah, stick, exactly. Right? You, you don't go straight to it. This is something you kind of, you know, ease your way in. So I had, I had started practicing with some five-pound dumbbells, kind of bumping my weight up as I go, you know, making my way up to, to the barbell. So it was pretty cool. So what, what made it that day, like, in your head? This is, this, we're going to do this, film this, we're going to do it right yeah, now. Yeah, that, that was the day. I mean, I had, you know, been prepping for it, thinking about it for a while. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to get it done, obviously, well before camp. And uh, <laughs> kind of just went in there and uh, pulled it off. Was it a, a CrossFit gym? Are you big into the... I mean, I just, I love all, all different types of training, right? Any, anything to do with uh, body movement, you know, I'm big on that. Uh, super big on, you know, yoga, flexibility, gymnastics obviously runs in my family. So um, anything I can do to, you know, uh, just get, get the body moving and, and you know, yeah. be creative with it. This isn't a, a your regular fan coming off the couch and trying this cold, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> people, I mean people give you a lot of heat for uh, how, how dangerous that is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... I think at the end of the day, for me, I know that I'm a professional athlete. You know, that comes first um, and foremost all the time. Um, so I'm not out there doing something that I'm, I'm not extremely comfortable with and uh, that I truly feel like I can injure myself. So uh, at the end of the day, they got to know I am well trained and, and a professional in what I do. So I'm not, I'm not out there, uh, you know, kidding around. What got more hits the, the first day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this barbell backflip is by far the most viral video I've ever shot in my life. So. <laughs> so how do you beat it next year? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm open to suggestions, anything, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's great to be out here at camp. I'm um, excited to get back to playing football, doing what I love, and, uh, you know, looking to go in there and, and make an impact this season and, and, and play my role. It's like the slam dunk contest. What is, yeah. <laughs> is going to happen next, you know? You yeah, to, exactly. It's hard to be creative. Exactly, it, right, right, you right. You need to be very creative. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Always crafting up. Yeah. It's a trip back home for you right away here. Um, yeah. What, what is the feeling? You went to, did you get back home over the off season? Is that where you were? Or? Yeah. Okay. Spent my off season in Winnipeg training, doing my rehab, taking care of the body, yeah. uh, spending time with the family. So, I mean, anytime you get to go back home, especially right at you know the the start of the season, uh, preseason game, super exciting. You know, the fans, uh, the, my family's waiting for me to come home, and and they're excited as well. So, you know, anytime I play at that field. You know, it brings back those memories of, of playing college football. So i um, really excited to go back there and, and play in front of my, my friends and family. You've been asked this several <coughs> times, but, hey, we're going back for a preseason game in Winnipeg. What do you remember about 2019 and the, uh, is it a kickoff return, I believe? It? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't even like to talk about that play. <laughs> that was one of my, uh, my fellow teammates had uh, caught me on the 15 or the 10-yard line. So <laughs> I tried to hit him with a little dead leg, and uh, he was too tired, so it didn't work. Um, but, you know, <laughs> look, looking forward to going out there and, you know, just playing my best. Did you give him a little ribbing and say, look, I'm at home here. <laughs> the house was right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, man, at the end of the day, it's all love. Um, you know, we're close friends and uh, he's got to do his job too. So, I mean, we had fun that day. So when you reflect on 2021 personally, I mean, it's a pretty <clears> good year. I mean, four touchdowns. How do you want to build? How does Cyrus want to build off that year and yeah, into this year? Absolutely. I mean, aside from all the personal uh, goals and achievements that I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, my biggest role, I think, is d to just come in here and, and, you know, do whatever the coaches ask. This is a whole new coaching staff. Uh, you know, I want them to know that I'm ready to work, ready to step in there and, and play a leader role if, if that's my job and, uh, you know, do what I can to help this team make a push towards the championship. And that's what we're here for. Kind of had a breakout year last year, then the coaching change happens. Uh, do you feel this year you got to prove yourself all over again? Uh, you know, I, I think I think going into training camp, everyone should come in with the same mindset that, you know, you, you got to win your job over again because, you know, everybody knows this league. There's always there's a bunch of moving parts. Uh, you know, nothing is ever promised. So I think you got to come out here, 
show that you're, you're, you're a leader, show that you know what you're doing out there, and uh, you know, play fast, play comfortable, and, and make your plays. You plugged into the Winnipeg football scene. What's it like <clears throat> them having that Great Cup championship there for you? Going on three years now after such a, a drought. I mean, your whole life. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. You know, I, I grew up watching uh, obviously the Bombers a lot. Uh, been to a ton of their games when I was, you know, just a little kid. Um, and so I think, you know, back to back championships in that city, that, that's great for the city, great for the culture. Um, and they needed it. it. It had been a while, like you said. So, I mean, that's cool. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm from Winnipeg, but, you know, I play for Edmonton. So, uh, you know, that's definitely what we're going after. So, anything we can do to prevent them from winning, we're going to do that. Uh, what's this quarterback competition been like in camp? I mean, it's almost, you know, two or three camps worth of uh, quarterbacks that they're. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, these quarterbacks are great. There's definitely some great competition. You know, Taylor is amazing. Uh, he played for a greater portion of the last season. And then we got Nick, you know, who's obviously been in the league for a while and, and been a starter in, you know, on different teams. So, you know, he's a great leader out there. And then we got Trey who's stepped in and, and just played outstanding. You know, he's a, he's a young Canadian quarterback who's coming, coming in here. And I think he's turning a lot of heads and, and doing a lot of great things out there on the field. So, I mean, you know, however it shakes out, I think we, we got a great set of quarterbacks and I think any one of them could go in at any given time and, and make some plays. The less polished side of this whole training camp has been the, you know, the hanging over everybody's heads, this whole CBA thing. And, uh, but yeah, you guys are yeah. out in the field now, and, and uh, you know the whole biz, you, you get the preseason kicked off, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, with the whole CBA, um, you know, as players, we're just trying to focus on you know coming out here every day and putting in that consistent work. Um, coach has just said, you know, keep your heads locked in because that's going to play out how it's going to play out at the end of the day we need to stay focused on on what we're trying to achieve here and that's ultimately to win a championship so we're going to stay locked in and, and keep pushing uh and that that will all get sorted out what's your reaction last night when you heard that it had been rejected i mean there's a lot of people pretty disappointed i don't know yeah how definitely did it hit you? yeah definitely i mean um i'm not i'm not too familiar with all the the back end stuff um, I know that, you know, we got some good player reps out here that are going to take care of it. Um, the team, the league voted, uh, it got turned down. So, you know, like I said, we're just going to keep the mindset that we got to come out here every day uh, and put in our work and, and keep making that push. Thanks, All right, Appreciate thanks, guys. Man. Take care. Thank you.